Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Hazemi Gerouj. I am a PhD student in the last two months of my PhD. I work with, uh, with my supervisor, Mr. Professor David Rousseau, in the University of Angers in France. So today I will present uh, a, a complementary, I think, work of the last presentation for low images annotation costs with transfer learning. So moving from traditional machine learning, uh, sorry, I don't know what to speak. Okay, methods for deep learning, for some reason it's have automatically some extraction future or also more robustness, but this method needs a lot of annotated data sets with its very time consuming task. And it's also not a lot of data are available, for example, in the field condition. So we have a lot of data set, annotated data set acquired in control environment. Can we use this or uh, existing data set for this? So we have some large annotated data set already trained model in indoor environment. And we have a smaller data set in other noisy environment can we call it. So our question here, how to take benefit from this data set and this model to build another model for outdoor data set. For uh, this, for uh, response to this question, we do three different approach. The first approach is called direct transfer. It means we train the model in indoor data sets or it was a control environment and we test it directly in the outdoor data sets. But here the problem is the indoor data set, they don't contain some noise at shadow or in the, in the uh, these images. So for, for that, we test another approach, we call it data augmentation. It means we, we try to add some synthetic noise in indoor data set to have synthetic outdoor data sets. And after that, we train the model with this data and we try to predict in real uh, outdoor data set. The last one is the fine tuning approach. It means we took the synthetic and original data set from indoor. We train the initial model. We transfer the weights of this model for train a new model with a few data from outdoor data set and directly we predict in outdoor data set. So now I will present three uh, different use cases using this three approach. The first one, we are focused in detection of the, uh, say the um, uh, seedling uh, development stage. The for uh, one, it's the soil, the, uh, appearance, the first appearance of the plant, the uh, opening of cotyledon, and the first leaf. So we have already in our lab large data sets already acquired in, uh, in the in control environment. And we acquired another small data set in greenhouse first. And we apply the all these models, so it means direct transfer, a data augmentation on the fine tuning one. And we see here with the fine tuning compared to using outdoor, uh, just outdoor data set in training and in test, we can improve 20% compared to the first model. It means we can use this transfer learning to improve the results using just a small data set. And here we can see just with seven quotes because here we use it, um, a time-lapse images. It means we try to track the, tra the tracking of each plan during two weeks to see all the a different stage and with that just seven parts of images we can have uh, 20 percent of accuracy 90 percent of accuracy based on this result we move the from for the feet because also we are interested to uh, to do finite pine in the field condition so we already acquired some images in top view in the field and we do the same process using the same database so here we have two different database it's a recipe and maize data set and we can see here the reference it means we train in outdoor data set and we test it in outdoor data set and we fine tune with it 
So we can see improvement of 10% using the fine tuning process. So here you can see some with background, uh, without background, because we try to uh, remove background in the face. So, okay. Another application uh, also it's for resting detection. So we have already also indoor data sets in resting, and we also do the fine tuning for the uh, outdoor data sets acquired in the field. And the red curve, it's uh, indoor to indoor. It means to we, uh, we train the model in indoor and tested in indoor. The uh, green one, it's trained and tested in outdoor data. And we can see the blue one, it's uh, we add some data, we train it in indoor and added some data from outdoor. And we can, after half, better performance using just you know, outdoor images. Uh, all of these uh, cases, we use it real to real data. It means real indoor data to real outdoor data. But also we can use other uh, transfer learning approach using some uh, software were dedicated for gaming development as Unity. So Unity, we can use it to have some synthetic data as for example, here it's for uh, flower detection in some flower on the field or flower segmentation for, for example, for estimated the time of flowering in the field. And we, uh, we, uh, we, um, ha we um, developed some uh, images, large annotated uh, images using Unity and we do the transfer learning for the field to detect the flower uh, of some flower in the field condition. Okay, so as conclusion, as we can say, we can take benefit from this large annotated existing data set from indoor environment to provide another model from outdoor environment. Because annotated, already annotated data in control environment, it's not the same time consuming outdoor environment. We have another uh, noisy or it's difficult to already annotate the data from uh, the field. Another thing, the acquisition uh, data in the field, it depends on the season of this uh, plant. Because for example, in South Florida, we have one time in the year to acquire the images. If we don't acquire the images, we need to uh, attend the next year. But using control environment to have, we can acquire it uh, all of the year, the images also for the case of synthetic data. Uh, thank you for your attention and I'm happy of your questions. <laughs>